Every 26th of January is always remembered in Uganda. It is the day that the ruling NRM took over power from the Tito Kilaluta regime in 1986. With today's celebrations in Fort Porto district, it marks 30 years. A cross-section of Ugandans with majority from the opposition think there is no instance in celebrating the day with reasons ranging from poverty and unemployment to long stay in power. But Captain Francis Babu, a member of the Central Executive Committee, the second highest decision-making organ of the ruling NRM, thinks otherwise. Babu says the 30 years should not be a problem and Ugandans should stop lamenting about the same since this is just a drop in the ocean. For a country, 30 years is a very short time. For an individual, it's a long time. We've got this lock in our head that these 30 years have elapsed. So, others have got this thing that they have turned this thing into President Museveni. There is Uganda to think about. There's, there's, the, there's a future for our children to think about. In fact, I'm more worried about the future than I'm worried about the 30 years. The 30 years have gone. You, you can sit there and lament forever and lament how you're going to remove President Museveni. That doesn't help us. According to Babu, a lot has been achieved by the Museveni government, which was fought for and should not be underscored. When these people liberated this country, we had gone to the, to, to, the country had gone to the dogs. And we, it, 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 celebrating this day reminds us not to put this country back to where it was liberated from. In fact, today, all of us should be talking about peace. We should be telling all these political leaders that we don't want a mess. We don't want you to mess our country up. On the issue of change of governance, Babu stressfully says almost everything has been changed apart from one position. He asks President Yari Museveni to look at changing himself as an individual. President Museveni came 30 years ago with a slogan of a fundamental change. I want Museveni 30 years later to come out with another slogan that says he wants change. Him. Now, why am I challenging him? Because he's the one who said he wanted a fundamental change, which he has uh, put in being. But now what he's doing, he's washing his clothes and drying them in the sand. L let us now wash and clean this country. And he's the only one who can make it happen. Babu is also asking all stakeholders to come with solutions to the existing challenges other than lamenting for change. Instead of just calling one man, and making all of you go for that propaganda. All of us who are in leadership are actually guilty. So all the people who are even campaigning as presidents are more or less the same as President Museveni. They are not any better. Because none of them has come out with a solution of putting this country together and helping the young people we so much try to use to, to drive our point home. Recently, an opinion poll that was done by Research World International on the presidential candidates showed that incumbent Yoram Museveni is at the edge with 51%. This year's Liberation Day has been celebrated under the theme Fundamental Change and Steady Progress. Justin Nachibule, WBS-TV in Kampala.